Healthy Kitchen, how are you doing? Okay, guys, we're going to be making a uh, red Thai curry with coconut sauce and fresh snapper, okay? With just a small microgreen salad, some carrots, asparagus, fresh ingredients, low carb, really tasty. And I'm introducing the new oils like I said I would, the Camelina oil and some Malden smoked salt, uh, sea salt. So start off here with your asparagus. Cut it in some spears like a bias. You can also peel the asparagus. Make sure um, you follow the same procedure again and cut it on a long bias. Now we're gonna use our carrots here. They're already peeled, but I'm gonna shave off a bit more just for the micro green salad later on. And what you wanna do basically is just mix it all in, the red or purple, white and orange and just put in some cold water and then just stick that right in the fridge and use your remaining carrots and just cut them on a long bias okay so like a long sliver kind of thing there just, you know what dicing up the carrots is kind of boring I just want to give the carrots some different texture and with our pumpkin here just give it a, a peel you could use a potato peeler if you like but I just use my knife um, slice it up, give them a medium sized dice, or some people would probably call that a large dice, but whatever. Just chop it to your desire, make sure they're all uniform. And we're just going to move on to some parsley and give that a quick chop. Um, divide it in two, some will be for garnish as we cook, and I'll show you what I mean. So we just want to season up our pumpkin here, okay? Just throw some of that chopped up parsley over it. A bit of that camelina oil, some chopped sliced garlic, and hit it with some smoked Malden salt and a scotch bonnet pepper. Okay, what I did here was I just gave a couple tablespoons of red Thai curry on top and moved on to my salmon or my snapper. Okay, with the snapper, you just want to slice it all up on the bias on both sides before putting them back together and then seasoning them up. So once again, the Camelina oil. If you're not, um, if this is a new product for you, check it out. It's very good for uh, cooking. Uh, salt and pepper once again. And what I did here was I added some lemon juice just to, you know, give it a little pop and a little bit of curry spice, okay? I added some more Camelina oil to my pan, sauteed off the pumpkin on medium high heat. Make sure you use a wooden spoon whenever you're sauteing, please don't scrape metal with metal. And then add in a bit of the tomato sauce that I had there. You could use your favorite brand or homemade if you'd like. Give that a quick saute around. And once the pumpkin is about, I don't know, I would say 30% cooked or nicely sauteed and caramelized, you want to add in a little bit more parsley, like I said, divide it up, and then add in your coconut milk, okay? This will make it really rich and creamy, really delicious at this point. And guys, if you don't like fish, it is not for everyone, I understand. I love seafood. Um, you could add chicken at this point. You could even add chicken and substitute chicken for the whole dish. You could even leave it all out and just do a vegetarian dish. Um, then I just gave it a little bit of salt and pepper there. Added some of the vegetable spears that I cut on the bias. Only half of it I use. And the other half, what I did here was I sauteed it with a little bit of Camelina oil. Um, kosher salt. Cracked black pepper. Basil. Gave that a quick toss up. And in the very end, what I did was I took some fresh Italian parsley. Just to give the dish some more life. Um, and just let that go. Now, with the little micro green salad, fresh lemon juice, salt, pepper, and once the fish is roasted, took that out of the oven. It was on 350 for about, I would say about 15 minutes, okay? Um, like I said, you could take, substitute the fish out for whatever vegetarian you'd like, tofu, or even uh, just leave it as it is. Believe me, though, if you like seafood, give this dish a shot. 
extremely, extremely flavorful, okay? Um, pumpkin on the bottom of your dish here. Just a simple presentation. Nice and hot out of the pan. Microgreen sod on both ends. Remember what I said, guys. Substitutions are easily made with this dish. I, I, You know what? I ate the pumpkin without any of the fish at first. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. I uh, just gave it a quick drizzle of sauce over the top. Build with flavor. Okay. Fish on top. Sauce. Microgreen sprouts. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Always a pleasure. Please continue supporting the channel. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Ciao, guys. Take care.